Hi guys, uh, welcome to our channel. We're continuing our series on the crab people eat. Uh, so please be sure to, start to hit the subscription icon and hit the bell button so that you can get the latest notifications from our channel. I'll see you on the flip side. Hi guys, um, so we're continuing on our, our series uh, the crab people eat and the problem it is in uh, the processed foods remember uh, carbonated drinks refined sugars artificial foods and processed foods all these things are bad you know these are um, foot and mouth disease there are all these diseases animals carry and because we want to mass produce we want to mass produce uh, we want to hit our targets we want to feed the multitudes so what do we do? Our food is processed. So number one, we inject hormones. We inject hormones into our livestock so that they grow quicker and bigger and reproduce more. That's why we use hormones. They inject hormones so that the animals grow bigger, so that they reproduce more and they grow quicker. That's why they use hormones. So. Our animals, our cows, our chickens, our goats, all these things, they are injected with hormones for that very purpose. But those hormones have an adverse effect on the people who consume them. So that means even the cow or the chicken or whatever it is, it is, it is not growing naturally. It is not going to its optimum potential. It's not a healthy cow you are eating. You understand? It is not a healthy cow. And that becomes a problem. Number two, they are fed with garbage. They are fed with gibberish. Just that they grow quicker. They don't eat healthy. They don't eat grain. And so their diet as well is not proper. And also the animals do not get adequate amount of exercise. They are not free roaming, most of them. They are not getting the adequate amount of exercise. It becomes an unhealthy animal. And if you eat an unhealthy animal, what will happen? So now, this is the challenge of trying to ensure food security and mass production and trying to keep up with the profits. You see? And so now, the, even the meat we eat is not the highest quality types of meat. Now, go into the wild. Look at the cheetah, a lion, a tiger, when they are hunting. After they hunt, when they go to eat, what is the thing they go for the most? They first start with the internal organs. Your lungs, your heart, your liver, intestines. Because your organs are the most nutritional part of you. So even when carnivores, when they go and they eat their meat, they first go for the organs. They still eat the appendages and muscles and stuff like that. But they go for the organs first because that's where their nutritional value is. So I recommend that um, have more of your liver, have more of your kidneys, you know, have more of your tripe. You know, have more of that, you know, because that's where more of the nutritional value lies, where it is. But the essential problem, it is the hormones and the chemicals that are injected with. They end up in our bodies. Even the chickens, the chickens are not meant to produce so many eggs at one go. You understand? They are chemically induced to produce more and more and more eggs. That means the eggs we are eating they lack in the nutritional value they're supposed to be having. And it is in a way unnatural, in a way unorganic. You get that? And so we we'll go and we eat this as well. So they're injected with hormones and then even the foods we eat, um, the veggies and the fruits, they are genetically modified. So they are genetically modified and as a result, they become bad for us. Um, um, a few months ago, there were a, a, a swarm of bees, close to 2 million bees died. And they found out that they died because um, there was some genetically modified corn around and some flowers around. And as a result, these bees died. You understand? The bees died, it affected them, and it was problem problematic as a result. You get that? And so genetically modified organisms and stuff like that are bad for us. They are bad for our nutrition. And we keep on consuming all this stuff. And then, to make things worse, even the water we drink. The water we drink, 
it is um, the good thing about it is that um, Rainwater and all these companies, government entities, they cleanse the water to remove um, chemical, to remove rather um, pathogens and stuff like that, to kill cholera and all these things. And they do that, and they pump it with chlorine. But now there is no filtration process to remove all the chemicals they put into the water to kill all the pathogens. And as a result, they end up in our tap water. That's why sometimes you open a tap and the water is white and in the glass and you shake it a bit and then after a while it becomes clearer. Why did that happen? It is because chemicals were thrown into the water. And in the long run, it negatively affects us. So think about it. All the things you are eating, all the things you are drinking, all these things are not natural as they should be. And in the long run, what does it do? Negatively affects the body. And we end up with things like cancer, malnutrition, kwashioko, you name them. There are many people who have access to food but are still malnourished. Think about that. Leave me your comments. Tell me what you think. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. And see you next week on the Oracle Chronicles.